Hi, my name is Dr. Emily Splickle, functional podiatrist and human movement specialist. I want to speak to you today about hallux limitus or a limited dorsiflexion in your great toe and how you can use a dancer's pad to decrease any pain and to improve your mobility. Now your first MPJ is a joint in the foot that we push through every time we take a step. So having optimal range of motion is important to optimizing the way that you walk. Hallux limitus is a type of arthritis in the great toe joint that is decreasing your range of motion. Now there's many different causes for hallux limitus, but what you will find is that as you go to take a step, you hit your end range of motion and you may have pain or just a loss of range of motion. That oftentimes can lead to compensation. So using a dancer's pad underneath your first metatarsal will allow you to optimize the dorsiflexion of your great toe. So you're going to start by getting a dancer's pad. Now I recommend to my patients that they use a felt dancer's pad. You do not want to use foam or silicone because of the compressibility of those materials. You also want to look for a quarter inch thick. Something that is 1 16th or 1 8th will be too thin to properly offload the first met head. You're going to take your dancer's pad and there's a adhesive on the back. So you'll take that sticker off and you're going to start by placing the dancer's pad on your foot. So the placement will be that the cutout of the dancer's pad will be at your first metatarsal's head. So it's sitting in the void and then we're trying to load the rest of the ball of the foot. Now you want to start by placing this directly on your foot to see if it's beneficial. If you feel that using a dancer's pad decreases pain in the first MPJ or improves your range of motion, this can easily be something that is incorporated into a custom orthotic or you can place it into any shoe insole. If you are looking to learn more about Hallux Limitus or are curious if you have Hallux Limitus, then please visit dremilysplickle.com.